heavy oil is highly viscous cold syrup like hydrocarbons which are formed much the same way as a conventional low viscous oil the oil sands or tar sands are loose sand or partially consolidated sandstone containing naturally occurring mixtures of sand clay and water saturated with a dense and extremely viscous form of petroleum technically referred to as bitumen in the Athabasca sands in Alberta Canada there are very large amounts of bitumen covered by little overburden making surface mining the most efficient method of extracting it the overburden consists of water laden muskeg beet bog over top of clay and burned sand the oil sands themselves are typically 40 to 60 meter deep sitting on top of flat limestone rock hello my friends welcome to my energy economist channel we are going to start today by knowing tar sands or extra heavy oils so stay with me Due to the high viscosity Heavy oil is more expensive to extract than conventional oil. The bitumen in tar sands cannot be pumped from the ground in its initial state. Therefore, surface mining requiring large areas has been the preferred extraction technique. After excavation, hot water and the caustic soda is added to the sand, and the resulting slurry is piped to the extraction plant where it's agitated and the oil skimmed from the top provided that the water chemistry is appropriate to allow bitumen to separate from sand and the clay the combination of hot water and agitation releases bitumen from the oil sand and allows small air bubbles to attach to the bitumen droplets the bitumen frost floats to the top of separation vessels and is further treated to remove residual water and fine solids. About two tons of oil sands are required to produce one barrel of oil. Originally, roughly 75% of the bitumen was recovered from the sand, but today extraction plants recover well over 90% of the bitumen in the sand. The cost of producing one barrel of tar sands or extra heavy oil amounts to between 30 to 60 euro of oil equivalent to which transport costs must be added with current oil prices it makes economic sense to extract this resource it has been estimated that given the existing technology and the current oil prices 1 to 1.5 trillion barrels of tar sands and extra heavy oil can be recovered economically most of them being located in Canada and Venezuela. All production methods of oil from tar sand requires large amounts of energy, chemicals and water. It also releases considerable amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. An upheaval of large land areas and substantial pollution is often the result. Needless to say, there are strong environmental concerns regarding extraction of energy from these resources. However, with increasing oil prices, tar sands and extra heavy oil are considered important from an industrial perspective, especially since the resource base is significant. Although oil sands have long been recognized and used in limited ways, it's only within the last 40 years that 
commercial production has grown. Canadian oil sands production began in 1967 and production has grown steadily. By 2009, production from oil sands was equivalent to over 550 million barrels of oil, accounting for 49% of Canada's oil production in 2009. Though production was initially subsidized, production costs have fallen with technological advances and is now economically viable at $50 per barrel and production is forecast to more than triple by 2025. Venezuela also has substantial oil sand deposits and smaller accumulation are known in Russia and the Middle East. If you want to learn more about tar sands, you could do so in my book Economics of Petroleum Principles which is published on Amazon. Check it out at the link in the description. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and do not forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and goodbye.